without review. Angelina Jolie goes back to basics with an artful wartime revenge drama Toronto Film Festival. For her fifth feature as director, Angelina Jolie has gone so far back to basics that without blood could quite easily be her debut. That isn't a criticism, rather an observation about how hard it is, even for a list talent, to make films about the brutality of war, even though many are raging all around us, and by displacing people in their thousands, feeding the anti-immigrant sentiment currently creeping up all around the world. But even after tackling conflicts in Bosnia in the land of blood and honey, 2011, Cambodia first They Killed My Father, 2017, and even the Second World War Unbroken, 2014, adapting Alessandro Barrico's 2000 and two short story of the same name is a bold gambit. It's a deliberately ambiguous two-hander that will have viewers wondering if they've missed a title card or two. What year is this, and where in the world are we? The two stars are Salma Haig and Demin Bitcher. But if you're expecting a historical story about either the Mexican or Spanish civil wars, the timelines won't add up. It is simply a civil war, the kind that can and has happened anywhere. And in an extended introduction, we see it play out in a vicious Wild West environment. Men on horseback lasso a man, pull him from his horse, and drag him through the fields. These men are on a mission, one alluded to by a reflective voice over from Bicker's character, Tito. We had our dream, he says. We were doing it for a better life we had to break up the earth and we did. Terence Malick's Days of Heaven is a big influence here, and we see a young girl, Nina, sitting on a swing. Her rural idol is disrupted when a car pulls up making the drama more recent than we might have imagined and three men get out. Her father makes a space for her under the floorboards and tells her teenage brother to go and hide. One of the three is the young Tito, there with his father Salinas and his muscle El Blanco, and they are there to dispense justice on Mina's father, once a head physician at the local hospital. He was, they say, a war criminal, a man known as Hyena to his friends who laughed when they said it. Is this true? We, and Nina, never find out, which is not a spoiler since the truth is about to become the battleground the film is fought over. over.